Hey YouTube, Jason here with the Day Train Fearless. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And as always, leave a comment down below. And also, make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button again. Okay, um, it would be very much appreciated uh, if you find value in these uh, videos. So, as always, let's jump right into it. So, uh, this week, um, we're looking at the uh, S&P EMA futures. Um, these are the September con contracts. We got the market profile here. Um, and what else we have is all-time highs in the S&P futures. We finally closed above um, all-time highs. If we real quick look at SPX, right, which is the continuous contract, we could see we just kind of made new highs just by a couple points or so, about a point or two. Um, and one of the things that I'm looking at is market profile look at what we have we actually have a poor high on the market profile we have access to the downside but we do not have access to the upside and for for those of you who don't understand what excess is think of it as just spikes up or down uh usually with a type of a we'll we'll call it a wick right so what we need before this uh, whole thing's over, more than likely, okay, not always, but more than likely is access to the upside. So we'll need something to look like this, maybe a quick move up and then a quick move back down, and that would create excess. And then with that excess, we would have a very completed bell-shaped curve market profile. Um, and think of it as the auction has finished. So that's kind of what I'm looking for uh, with this uh, market right now. Well, let's go back to the S&P E-mini futures. Same thing, excess down below, no excess up here on the futures. Uh, but we do have a clean bell-shaped uh, market profile. And so this week, uh, last week I was really on the edge. I, can't, I said flip a coin, we make new highs, we fail. I have no clue. This week... Um, a little more since we closed near the all-time highs, I actually, bearing any bad news this, this weekend, I actually believe we're going to make new highs um, to potentially create that excess. Um, so I am leaning to the long side on the S&Ps, but with that being said, disclaimers, this thing could roll over at any time. I personally think the market and the economy are so disconnected but I think the market will kind of have to wake up to what's going on. But we also have the elections coming up uh, in the next couple months. I think there's going to be uh, some kind of shuffling of money uh, positions going into the election because uh, depending on who wins, the markets are going to uh, act accordingly. So SPY, okay. Uh, Still trying to learn how to type. Okay, SPY, same thing, poor high, right? Uh, looking for higher uh, highs, things like that. If we drop down to maybe the 15-minute uh, chart, we actually have a nice inverse head and shoulders. Shoulder, head, shoulder. Here's our neckline, okay? Um, all we need to do from here is take our fib extension, Drive from here all the way back down, and these are now our levels. Three, we'll, we'll round off 341, 342, 35, 344, ultimate target uh, to the upside. So um, we are, listen, the market is what the market is. Stop trying to pick tops and bottoms. If you're trying to do that, it becomes a very expensive game. The market doesn't care what we believe in. The market just cares about what it wants to do. So with that being said, be very, very careful uh, with uh, what's going on. So let's um, now go and let's look at gold, GLD. Okay. And with gold, uh, we actually, here, gold's actually interesting because I drew these uh, last week or the week before. Um, we actually have excess up here, 
Okay, we actually don't have excess down here, but remember, this is a two-year chart, so as time rolls off, right, a day rolls off as a new day makes. Um, but with that being said, um, there is a little bit of excess here. We're kind of building out profile here. Um, we'll see. I, I actually said last week, watch out. Uh, we might start to create a potential bull flag right here. Um, I'm actually still a big believer, even though I sold my gold uh, a couple weeks ago. I might actually re-enter if it pulls back to around the 170, 175 level. I might start to re-enter for another push higher just because of what's going on in the economy. I don't believe it i don't trust a lot of stuff so um that's where i'm at but if uh, we could get a deeper pullback i actually think we could move higher on gold but so far a nice bull flag inverse and shoulders here we can even call this a bull flag right here to here break to the upside pull back maybe another leg to uh higher but we first need to come down i would love to see this 175 to even the 170 in there start to uh rebuy back into gold if it gets there so uh that's my plan um i might even just nibble here around the 180 but we'll see uh we'll see what the market does uh this coming week um crude oil slash cl okay crude oil has been <laughs> amazing we've been stuck in this little channel for a couple months now from essentially june all the way to august this entire summer we're stuck in this little channel right here um shoulder head shoulder but i'm wondering if this thing actually fails um, going into the next month or two into the election because of the um, just a, the market potentially may roll over things like that oil get lower um, we're also coming into fall what what happens with the uh, flu season things like that does it get a lot worse anything like that so just some some things to think about um i'm really not that bullish uh on crude if anything i would have to say i'm more bearish um even though we do have a pattern it doesn't mean they have to work out just with looking forward to the next three or six months i'm i'm personally more bearish but again i'm not making bets on that but if i had to i'd say a rollover here we have because if we zoom in right we could even say hey this is a potential rising wedge going on right here okay um is it's rising up usually they break down if we go to 15 minute chart actually let's go farther out let's go to uh hourly chart right this is kind of what we're looking at it's getting tighter tighter usually about 75 percent in right from here all the way to the little edge if if we kept going to the right um, about 75 percent of the way is usually when the pattern fails so just keep that um open if we say i think if we lose 40 uh, on crude oil it might just uh, come back down to probably retest this uh, 35 level um, so just keep that uh, on your radar a um, couple others uh, Apple AAPL one of our favorites all-time highs almost 500 I think it came about 52 cents away from uh, the 500 um, they are doing a stock split soon be careful um, I don't know. I think it's buy the rumor, sell the news on this. Once they do the uh, stock split, you might see uh, a pullback. I also feel like the big money's churning right now. That's me personally. Meaning, um, to Apple's valued at what one point or sorry, two point one trillion dollars now or something. Um, it. I mean, trust me. They do. They make great products. They're doing everything great. But at some point, reality sets in a um, valuation for, for the big money right there. are going to go, okay, this is a little too expensive. Let's pull our profits and go put it somewhere else. 
Um, that's who I feel with Apple. Um, and then finally, TSLA Tesla. Kind of same thing. A um, couple of things. We'll draw a couple of uh, trend lines, right? Uh, Tesla is also doing a uh, stock split. Uh, so this is moving up into the earning or sorry, into the uh, split. Um, I think I don't know the exact date, but within next week or two, uh, they're going to be doing a five to one stock split. Uh, Apple's doing a four to one, I believe. So just kind of understand this chart's going parabolic. Very, very scary as a trader when you see parabolic moves because there's really nothing supporting it. Um, I love Elon. I love everything he does. But with that being said, I uh, going from 300 to 2000. Okay. Um, market cap. I don't even know. It's some ridiculous nu number for what they do. Uh, again, be careful with this. Um, but let's uh, duplicate this uh, trend line, extend, uh, duplicate, come over here. Okay, and here's our channel. We might have a little higher to go, maybe the 2150 to even 2200 ultimate target. Um, but if we also draw a trend line from here to here, Okay, just here, we're on the other side. Maybe we come up here and then roll back. Also, with all the charts, you see the market profile. Look for, um, use the market profile as your guide, right? Uh, you kind of see, hey, if we pull back, maybe look to be a buyer around the 15 for a bounce. Um, if we come break below this, watch out, we might get sucked all the way back down very quickly back down to the thousand level but again once we do the stock split next week or two maybe uh, that's where the pullback comes and things like that so <clears throat> be careful um have your stops a lot tighter i think because this market it just feels like it's moving up slowly grinding but a lot of churn Okay, and what I mean by a lot of churn is it just feels like the big money selling to the retail trader. I'm seeing things because lately I've been playing a lot of these momentum uh, stocks intraday scalping, and there's just certain things that I'm seeing I, that are not normal for a market, kind of like a stock that goes from $2 to 20 bucks in a day or two, or even just pre-market. Okay, um, valuations don't justify anything. And so be careful. I get it. There's some companies making great money, but uh, remember, there's also a lot of stuff underneath the surface that the market is disregarding um, that may start to rise. And that's all I'm going to say, because um, if you're bullish, I don't want get, to get you bearish or do anything, but just be careful. Um, these things usually never end well, but with that being said, these things could go on for a long time. But as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate, uh, the loyalty, the viewership, all that. And again, make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe. And until next time, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.